Hey, Michelle. Yeah, Lindsay, what's up? Believe it or not, I am cooking dinner tonight. Ooh, that is very exciting. Good luck with that. And I like that expression you used, believe it or not. Do you yeah. want to use that on today's episode? Maybe talk all about it? I would love to. Guys, today <laughs> we're going to show you a great native and natural expression that can show that you understand a lot about the other person and can show a lot about you as a person when you use it. So Michelle, should we go ahead and get into it? Let's do it. Hello, Michelle. How's it going today? How's everything? Hey, I'm good, Lindsay. I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm happy to be here. I'm feeling good today. Yeah, we're in October. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. The year is flying by, Michelle. Before you know it, it'll be 2022. I know. You know, you know me. I, I do a lot of like um, a note journal writing just to like remember what I did on certain days. Yeah. So I have two things I write. <laughs> I write in like my daily thing, just like what I did, not like deep emotions or anything, just what I did. And yeah. then I also do a weekly one because I saw um, at the end of the year, someone said, oh, put on a slip of paper every week, like one positive thing from that week. Yeah. And then like put it into a jar and then you read it at the end of the year. Now, of course, I didn't deal with the, I like didn't do the strips of paper thing, but I just also have it written in an email. And a lot okay. of times I forget. And it just feels like yesterday that it was week one. And now we're like, and now it's week yeah. 50 or something. I know it's so crazy. I mean, the time flies by Michelle, but what are you doing this weekend, by the way? Well, Lindsay, believe it or not, I am going skydiving. <laughs> What? I do not believe that. That has yeah. to be false. Is that false? Yeah, it was a lie. It was a big fat lie. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine you skydiving. No, Michelle. no. Why not, Lindsay? I'll and I can't. You. Can you imagine me skydiving? I mean, what do you? More what do you than me. More, more than, than you. Me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like <laughs> if you said it, I'd be like, oh, wow. But I would also kind of be like, okay, yeah. Like, would you ever do that? I don't know if I'd be able to step off the plane because you know how you have to step off yeah. yourself, right? You have yourself strapped in. I just think I would end up back down on the helicopter or the plane or whatever you use and not, I paid all this money and I would have not You'd done it. You know, up yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty scary. Well, you know what I did do once? Um, I did indoor skydiving. Have you ever heard of those oh. places where you can do it indoor? Yeah. I have heard that that's a thing. I've heard that's common in like the New York area. They have indoor stuff like that. Indoor skiing, yeah. indoor skydiving. Yeah. I don't I I just did that. It was a, it was for my first anniversary. I didn't know what we were doing and then we were going indoor skydiving and I was like, "Fuck." Ah! <laughs> oh, very strategic of Dan because they say that when you do things that risk your life, you feel like you're risking oh. your life with your partner, you fall more in love with the person you're with, with your partner. Like so you I must said. have read that somewhere on a blog. Maybe. I would imagine. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. But yeah, uh, it was actually really fun, believe it or not. Mm. Mm. All right. So you used an expression there, Michelle, and that is the yeah. one we're talking about today for our listeners. Yes, 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 yes. So believe it or not, uh, my niece recently used the expression, believe it or not. And I, I have these moments where I'm like, I think that's a good one. And I'm going <laughs> to teach it on the show. Um, I so I wanted to teach it to you guys. That's fantastic. I love it. Wait, how old's your niece? Oh, she's only seven. Oh my gosh. I love it when I hear like my niece, you know, kids starting to act, talk like yeah. adults. They're starting to become fully formed human beings. <laughs> I, I think that's what kind of made my ears perk up. Like, yeah. oh, you know, so I was like, cause is that, I mean, Lindsay, would you say that's like a, a, a kid phrase? I mean, yeah. So my niece is about seven too, about seven or eight now. And I, oh I, God. I would say it's not a, it's not not a kid's phrase, but it's it's neutral. I think it's it's just exactly. something it's quite expressive. It indicates right. that you understand that what you're about to say is something that would be hard to believe. Right. So it's a high level of cognition, probably to say. Right. It. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is not like only like this is not like a childish expression, I would yeah, say. Yeah, no, 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 um, totally. Mm -hmm. So I mean, this can be used in anywhere. I mean, in the workplace, anywhere. I mean, it yeah. uh it's used just, you know, to introduce something that's a little bit surprising or shocking or unique. I mean, yep. would you use this one, Lindsay? Yeah, totally. I use it a lot, actually. I like it, especially when I want to make fun of myself. Yeah. You no, know, for example, I could say, believe it or not, I'm cooking dinner tonight because <laughs> I never cook dinner. Right? I'm usually not the one cooking in my uh, household. So I'm making fun of myself. I'm saying, eh, you know, it's you wouldn't expect that. 
So. Right, right, mm -hmm. right, right. Yeah, it is kind of fun to use it in that way. I just yeah. think it's a fun expression in general. And you're yeah. acknowledging something is surprising. It doesn't have to be like, believe it or not, like I'm yeah. skydiving or it doesn't have to be like, believe it or not, I rescued a cat from a burning building. Like it doesn't need to be like the biggest shock. You can use it just, oh, like even more casually. Um, right. Yeah. So it's a good signal it's a good instead of just saying the surprising thing it's yeah. a good signal like oh something kind of fun something kind of interesting is coming yeah making fun of yourself something unexpected is coming guys this is a great way to build a rapport with someone and to share something about yourself or about what you're about to say so they get more insight into you when you use it especially to talk about right. yourself Right, 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 right. Exactly. That's true. It's a good way to share. So guys, before we talk about it a little bit more, we want to remind you that we have this awesome All Ears English app and we have it not only on iOS, but we also have it on Android. Right, Lindsay? Yes. Finally, we have it on Android, guys. We know you were asking for a long time. We built it in 2020 for you on Android. So go check it out. You can get real-time transcripts right on your phone. You can create your personal power list of vocabulary words. Mm -hmm. You can search all of the episodes. It is super cool. So Michelle, where should they go to download it? Go to allearsenglish.com slash app, A-P-P. All right. Now, Michelle, I know our listeners love role plays, so we're going right. to give them some today. All right, let's do it. All right, here we go. Here's the role play. Okay, so where's the nearest laundromat? Oh, believe it or not, there's one right around the corner. <laughs> in New York, Michelle, is it common to have laundry machines in your building or do most people go to the laundromat? I would say it's a mix. I, I had um, I, in one building, I had it in in the building. Um, mm -hmm. And but I know a lot of people have to go to the laundromat. Um, yeah, so I would say I would say it's a pretty big mix depending on the building. Okay, because when I lived in New York, there was definitely no laundry machines in my building. So I was always going to the laundromat. But when I moved to Cambridge, Mass, Boston, every building has a machine has machines. And I was like, Oh, what a luxury. <laughs> what a luxury. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. And uh, yeah, it is a luxury. Laundry shows, is a big deal. It's a big deal, but it shows you how kind of different the lifestyle is in New York. It's so much more public. It's so much more out on the street, out in the world, right? Yeah. Dishwashers yeah, yeah. too. That's another kind of a luxury in Dishwash New York. Yeah. Did it, you have it, a dishwasher? I never had a dishwasher. Mm -hmm. And it, I didn't care. You know, these are luxuries that we can get away with. It's just it makes life a little easier. But going yeah. back now to not having yeah. a dishwasher might be challenging. That's the problem. Once you get right. these luxuries, then you don't have them anymore. That's the problem. Right. <laughs> That's true. That's true. You get used to it. Yeah. Um, so I, I also feel like you could have said the word actually, I, or I could have said it. I could say it. I could have said, actually, there's one right around the corner. And that would have been fine, too. But believe it or not, it's kind of playful. It's like, oh, like, I'm excited yeah. to share this with you. It's so easy. There's one right here. Yeah. And it's kind of indicating that you think that I would think it would be hard to find a laundromat right. in your neighborhood, right? That's the point. Right. Guys. That's yeah. true. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good. And yeah, I do think we could use this in business, Michelle. Like we said, I think this is so easy. Let's maybe we have some examples in the maybe business world. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here <laughs> we go. If we do. So the numbers grew by 50%. Believe it or not, they did. Wow, I would want to double check your math on that because that is a significant <laughs> growth, Michelle. <laughs> um, all right, or this one could be like if you're networking. All right, so here we go. Mm -hmm. Wow, I always thought marketing was a super hard field to get into. Believe it or not, there are tons of opportunities. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Good. Could okay. Say, could you say believe it or not at the end? Can you say it at the end? Yeah, I think you can. Yeah. There are tons of opportunities, believe it or not. I've done that. Absolutely. What about you? Yeah, and I think it could even go like maybe even in the middle. Like, let's, yeah. let's give this next example. Okay, let's see. So, okay. Now, believe it or not, we can still arrive on time if we take the later train. Really? According to my calculations, yes. Okay. <laughs> Again, double check those calculations. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. All right. Or here's another one. So there may be some instances, believe it or not, where our clients may decide to make changes on the last day. Oh, boy. Don't worry. <laughs> and I just as a bonus, I like my intonation there. Oh, boy. Oh, what, boy. Is, what are we indicating here? You're I mean, kind of worried. You're, that's why I said don't mm -hmm. worry, right? You're just, oh, yeah. boy. It's like, uh-oh, like kind of like that. 
Exactly. There's so much we can do, guys, with our tone of voice in English. It's amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. We'll do one more uh, with the with believe it or not at the end. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. How do you manage without an iPad, Michelle? I'm used to it, believe it or not. All right. So what are you indicating here? It's like I I'm, I'm saying I can do this. Like you're you're yeah. you're saying it's unbelievable. Like that's uh, yeah. what you can't yeah. believe that I mm -hmm. maybe you. Well, Lindsay, do you have an iPad or any sort of? I actually do, but I would fall into the category of understanding it's not needed. It's really not yeah. necessary. I could live without it. We're just in our yeah. oversteeped world of technology, right? We're just yeah. <laughs> dripping so in technology screens. everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So you're basically saying you could have said it's unbelievable. Like you're implying it's yeah. unbelievable to you that I can't, that I don't use an iPad. So I'm saying I, I'm picking up on that feeling that you feel. Mm. <laughs> That's yeah. what I'm saying, believe it or not. And I think, yeah, this could sound in some situations a little confrontational, a little um, mm. challenging the person, right? Because if I said that to you, ah. you might you might see me as kind of you're just you have too much stuff. You just don't need, you know, you it's a life of luxury, right? And then you're right. finding a way to say that to me. So just be a little careful on how you deliver it, right? It's so funny how we can come to these conclusions as we're talking about things like yeah, I never would later. have thought that in the beginning or planning this, but you're so right. It could, it could. So it's, mm -hmm. it's good that we talk this out. Um, it's interesting. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It is. Um, there are some other expressions. Um, so we actually did an episode, uh, all ears English 1339, make your vocabulary richer with these unexpected English phrases. So mm. Um, this is another good one to listen to. And, and we, we did this phrase, but I just want to touch on it. So it's, okay. it was yeah. as a matter of fact, right? Yes. So that's another good one. Yeah. We have a quick role play for that one, Michelle. Do we want to do that? Yes. Let's okay. do it. All right. Lots of role plays today. I know our lots listeners are going to love this guys. Write these down. This is gold. Okay. Do you have two seconds to talk right now? <laughs> I do. I, I wrote something funny, guys. Uh, I do. I have five seconds, as a matter of fact. Yeah, as a matter of fact. Right. So that's kind of similar to believe it or not. Right. It's, right. The difference is probably negligible. Right. right. Yeah. I, agree. I, I love agree. that. And then yeah. one more. What is it, Michelle? One more. Okay. You'd be surprised. Yeah. You can fit all this stuff in your room. You'd be, oh, you'd be surprised. I have more room than it seems. Yeah. Okay. So another great way. And maybe that one, yeah, I mean, it means the same thing as believe it or not. It's really communicating the same point, same right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, I mean, oh, wow. Yeah, that was a very role play heavy episode. Our listeners love role plays. It's so good, guys. You can really, so now your next step, guys, as our listeners is to go and take this stuff, use it in your own interactions, right? To connect, you know, show that you understand the other person, that the other person understands you. That builds connection, right, Michelle? Exactly, exactly. So guys, this is this is a good one. Uh, we give you a lot of different ways yeah. to use it today. Um, put it in the beginning, the middle of the end and, and and just have fun with it. It's a good it's a good one to use. Yeah, I love it. So guys, remember to go check out the All Ears English app. It is the one place to go to take your learning further with All Ears English because you can listen to the podcast in the app. You can see transcripts, which you can't do right now with your podcast player, and you can choose your personal power list. All right, Michelle, what do you think? I love it. I love it. Get it all ears right. com slash app, A-P-P. Lindsay, this was fun. Thanks for hanging out. Absolutely. I'll talk to you soon. Have a good one. All right. Okay, bye. Bye.